Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bailey, nice to meet you. And please subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And also, go follow me on Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. I post every single day about. Today, I'm gonna be talking about online school and what I wish I would have known before starting. It has been quite the journey and I hope that I can help you guys in any way. So let's go. The first thing that I think is probably one of the most important is to just incorporate it in your everyday life. I am going to school to be a court reporter and with that, if you take a break from it for a couple of days because it's not like you're going to class, so you kind of have a little bit of a different schedule. If you take a break from it, you take like 10 steps backwards in your speed and in your learning. So most importantly, just stay on top of your schooling. You have to be very disciplined. Something I tell myself is start five minutes. And if I'm like the whole day, I'm thinking, oh, I really don't wanna do this. I don't wanna sit down and do this work. Just tell yourself, I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna do five minutes of it. And then once you start that five minutes, you look down at your clock and it's been 15 minutes. And so you're like, oh, that's not so bad. So you continue to work. And then before you know it, it's been an hour. And even just an hour a day, as long as you're not behind on work, putting an hour a day into your work can make a tremendous difference. So just tell yourself if you don't wanna do it, you know, if I start five minutes and get five minutes out of the way, that normally helps me. So try the five minute rule. The next tip that I have is email your teachers daily. So even though you're not going to class, you need to make sure that you stay on top of talking to your teachers. It's just gonna help you. It's gonna help you stay reliable. It's gonna help you stay on top of things. You know, whenever you're not going to school or class every single day, you have to try and make yourself stay accountable for your schoolwork. So emailing your teachers daily really does help. Another one of my tricks for online school is to just find like-minded people. In the town that I live in, there's really not very many court reporting students. There's not any at all, actually. So, um, it was really difficult for me because whenever you're going to class, you're not, you really don't have a problem because normally the people that are in your, those classes are trying to get the same degree. When you're an online school student, you don't have that. So I had to go out and find those people. There are actually pages on Facebook that, I mean thousands of people that are probably in the same boat as you. So something that I had found was a page, it was called Encouraging Court Reporters on Facebook and that has been a lot of help. There are so many people on there that are daily just writing stuff and asking questions and I have found that to be so great. It just reminds you that you're not alone because when you're an online student, you have that in the back of your mind all the time. You're just sitting here in a room by yourself I mean, of course you can email your teacher, but you really don't have, you know, that one-on-one -on -one or, you know, classroom connection. So I have found that to be very helpful. I know that they have other things um, like discussion boards on some online classes, but that can be kind of weird sometimes. Teachers can be very you know, particular on what you post in there. So I encourage you to get on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything like that, and just search whatever your degree is. And I'm sure that there will be people out there that are in the same boat as you. One of the other tips that I have for online students is to create your own space. And I'm not talking about, you know, in your bedroom or whatever it may be. If you don't have the space or a big house or if you still live with your parents, that's fine. Like creating like a little desk in your bedroom can be nice. But I personally like to have my own space that's not in my bedroom because my bedroom is my area. It's my sacred area. And sometimes when you do your work in one of those areas like a bedroom, it becomes 
kind of a space that you can't really go to to get away from everything. It also becomes the space where you do your work. So something I did, because at one time I lived with my parents when I was going through school, something I did was I would go to coffee shops and sit by myself, put in my headphones, start doing my schoolwork. That was super helpful and it got me out and about without being stuck in a room. Um, another thing, I also had a desk at my parents' house. There I really didn't have an option to have an extra bedroom for an office. So yes, I had a desk there. That was nice and um, I kind of designed it however I wanted. But now since I have my own house and Austin and I live together, I have my own office. And I cannot say this enough, for whoever has the ability to have their own office, do it. Because you need a space to have all of your stuff. And in court reporting, there's a lot of technology. I have my machine, all my cords that go to my machine, to my laptop. And then just having an area where you can have all your stuff laid out exactly how you want, be organized, keep your work organized. If you haven't created your own space or your own office area, I suggest to do so, or even just to create a little desk in your, in your bedroom. If you only have one bedroom, that's fine. Just make your own space, create it, make it however you want and make it enjoyable. Even if you have to go to Target and buy like those little dollar candle things and like some cute little office decor, just make it something that you enjoy going to every day because it will make a huge difference in your work, I promise. Another one of my tips is batch working. I've noticed a lot on podcasts that I listen to that batch working is very, very common these days. And it's basically, if you've never heard of it, it's basically where you get all of your work and you try to do it in like one amount of time and then that way it frees up the rest of your week. So for example, I take a couple different classes online and like I mentioned, I'm a court reporting student. So I have a speed class that I take and then I also take other like general education classes or like English classes, you know, that sort that pertain to my degree. So each week we get a new module of assignments that our teacher sends to us. So the beginning of the week on Monday, I will batch out all of my court reporting English class assignments. This frees up a lot of time for me. Like this is, this has been a game changer also. I will do all of the work for that class, that one class Monday. It takes up most of my Monday to do all that work for that class that week. But to me, I would rather get it done, get it over with. And I'm not saying like completely like take it out of my mind when I'm finished with it. No, but do all of the work, read up, study everything for that day. And then throughout the week, I'll refer back to the book. Like say if I'm relaxing on the couch, I'll pull out that book and read over some more of the chapter. But that frees up the other five days that I can use to study for my speed test and if you're a court reporting student you know that speed is very important you have to stay on top of taking tests and practicing because you'll fall behind really quick in your speed so it's important for me to get all of that classwork done that way i can put my full focus and the majority of my time into my machine another tip that i have for you is to just download the school app on your phone that might be a given, but I'm just going to say it. Every school normally has a school app on their phone where it's called Blackboard or Canvas or whatever it may be. Download it on your phone. That way you have all your assignments there on your phone because in this world, we all have our phone on us. So download it on your phone. Also, when you're an online student, sometimes teachers make it a requirement for you to stay up to date with the discussion board and to comment and that's how you gain daily attendance points so i found many times that i've almost forgot to do my discussion board for the daily attendance so having it on my phone has been very helpful i can just get on there you know respond type a little discussion and and get my points for the day but that's very easy to forget. So having that on your phone is very helpful. 
My last and final tip for online students is to just get out. And by that I mean if you have a gym near you, go get a membership. If you don't have the money for it, just go on a walk. But it is very difficult to be cooped up in your house and you get very overwhelmed quickly. And my biggest thing is in my schooling, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and to feel defeated and like it's not possible if I can't reach new speeds. And the biggest thing for me is when that happens to just step away from my machine, don't get discouraged, don't let it get the best of me and just step outside and take like a nice little walk. Austin and I have done that many times and it just helps clear your mind and sometimes whenever you come back you just feel ready. Um, I do think that exercising and getting out and about is very helpful so please do that don't let you know being cooped up in your house all alone get the best of you because it's not it's you have the ability to do whatever you set your mind to so yeah get out and about and then come back I, so I found this quote and it really resonated with me and online school I wanted to share it with you guys. It says, are the habits you have today on par with the dreams that you have tomorrow? And for a while, I struggled really bad with the online program that I'm in. I let it get the best of me and I felt defeated. I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt alone and it was really hard. I was also going through a really difficult time in my personal life and then you know school was just put on the back burner and I really struggled but then I realized you know I'm never gonna get out of the rut that I'm in if I don't forget about everything and just focus on school because school is the one thing that's gonna drag me out of what I was feeling. I say that because it's financial freedom, you know. I'm not saying that I'm going to be so rich and well off, but having a good set job and a good career along with a college degree is going to help me financially in the future. So, you know, it just clicked me one day and I set my sights on it and from then on I have used these tips that I gave you guys and I have I wouldn't say completely gotten out of the rut, but I'm better. I have more of a clear focus on what I want and um, I also want to thank you guys because creating this channel has made me feel so much better. Um, I, I want to share with you guys what I struggled and hope that you guys don't feel the same way and that we can help one another through this journey together. It's a very difficult program. The college graduation rate for a program like this one is so slim, so slim. And I want that to stop. I want us to show them that they're wrong and that we do have the ability to do whatever we set our mind to. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and please let me know down below the types of videos you guys want me to make and just ask me questions. I love answering your guys' questions and you can do that down below or you can go follow me on Instagram and ask me on there. I really, really enjoy talking to you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.